1K, 1K, 1K subscribers on the podcast. 1K, 1K, 1K subs. Here we go. 10K next. 1K. Should we just watch Husky Moon 3? Honestly, you probably should. I'm wearing it. colors. Let's do it. Wildcat colors, aren't I? Yeah. Red and white. Red, white, and gold. <laughs> unusual couple you know what time is it summer time is fine what time is it podcast time 1k sub celebration what time is it podcast time 1k you could have just kept the original lyrics that's right say that <laughs> all right this is our 1000 subscribers sub Yay! celebration if we had a soundboard yeah. insert audience clapping here yeah like curtis connor he has yeah. a soundboard we don't have that. <laughs> Maybe um, one day. We have hit a thousand subscribers here after two years and two <laughs> months, roughly. Um, I would say we were gone for almost a full calendar year, though. We were for, actually no, ten, almost ten ten and a half months, I'd say. Yeah, pretty much. So almost a full year of absence. And my bad, sorry guys. <laughs> <laughs> we're back though, and we've been more consistent than I'd say since we fired this thing up back in. Uh, I told you I'm more consistent than ever, actually. I told you that when I was no longer in school. Yeah. Everything would be great. Yeah. And I meant that. It just also so happens that when I have ended school, I also had a fucking, what's it called? Infection on oh, my okay. face. I was like, what are you doing? We would have been more consistent, but I had I've talked about this before and I will talk about it again. The craziest bacterial infection, the just gross thing growing on my cheek. Yeah. Like the deepest pimples, you guys. Mm-hmm. Like, pimple popper wishes they could get their hands on my face. Yikes. And it was just not good, and I felt ugly, and I felt um, not motivated. We're back now, baby. But it's okay. We have, we've gone, I think, almost a full month with uploads, because we did Barbenheimer. Yeah. And that was about a month ago now, which is crazy, isn't it? Barbenheimer was a month ago? Wow. Like, today, to the date, is when we watched it. I'm not kidding. To the date of filming this cam, we went into the Barbenheimer double feature. One month Damn. ago. Yet. Where'd all the time go? It's starting to fly. fly. Actually, <laughs> that this, gave me chills. <laughs> this entire episode is just going to be us singing. Yeah, it's yeah. our musical episode. Like that be, musical episode yeah. of Grace. Yes. Yes. Um, look, we started this during the height of the MCU Disney Plus shows. This is Correct. the first episode of this dropped on Cam's channel. It took us 14 or 13 episodes to wise up and make our own podcast channel because we yeah. were hesitant about it at first. Probably foolish, but not at the same time. At the time, it was yeah. probably the right the right call. Yeah, because my channel was helping it get probably a few views. A few views, a lot of views. If we started our own, it's just harder to get people to go to a new channel. Yeah. So it was probably smart at the time. Yeah. You had been making a lot of Disney Plus content. Yeah. We did a lot of Marvel heavy content early on. Um, we still do a lot of Marvel heavy content, but we were filming uh, a good bit. We talked about Black Widow, Phase 4 hopes, all that yeah. stuff. Then wow. we had the era where we got the new audio and then we did it at your apartment. God bless America. God, shout out to my mom. I don't think my mom watches the podcast, but my mom, one Christmas, what was it, two Christmases ago? She was asking me, she's like, what are some things Chris wants for Christmas? <laughs> oh, and we were like, I was like, I don't know. And Chris was like, what if we like got her, or told her that I wanted like a Zoom recorder so we could use it for the podcast. And lo and behold. It's been used ever since then. Yeah. I think it's the most used Christmas gift either of us have probably ever used. It's it's very valuable to us. Granted, it's yeah. a it might be a little unfair that it stays at my house because it is your gift, but we film the podcast at my house. So. I don't use it when I film my videos, so it would be kind of dumb. You probably will. When I you, did. When we when we live together, you probably will. I use it for my videos. You should watch my Percy Jackson video just so you can hear the audio. No, I know it's crispy. You can compare it to yours. Yeah. I love when I use it. I use it sometimes at your house. Remember? Yeah, it sounds better. It does sound better. So you'll probably use it consistently when we move yeah. in together. Um, but no, we we've had a lot of different runs of the podcast. Yeah, there's the crappy audio part where we were drinking like on the show for. Yeah, <laughs> that was a fun time. Yeah. And then we had the uh, apartment run, which was short-lived. Sitting on that bed was rough. Yeah, it was not comfortable. And then we had our brief stint with, at your house, Stranger Things run. Yeah. And then we took a hiatus, and now we're in the fourth run. I think those are the four eras of the podcast. The opening, the apartment run, Mm -hmm. 
the house run. the brief stint with Stranger Things pretty mm-hmm. much last summer, and then this is the this is where this is it, baby. This is the, this is the final run. This is it. Not the saying it's final ending. Saying countdown. this is almost the final form. It's evolved into what we want it to be. Yeah, we figured it out. Yeah, and I think that's that's more than a lot of people can say. A lot of people just don't. Uh, experiment enough never back down things. never what <laughs> never give up never back down never what never give up i love that audio makes me laugh so hard yeah so we, we've gone from we've, having the microphones plugged directly into the camera god almighty to, that was awful yeah really bad listening back on it so i was in your left ear and chris was in your right ear um to oh christ you're right unwatchable sitting one shift over where i was on the bed and you were in a chair yeah which was a crazy setup and then sitting close to my desk and now we're back here this this is is, is, i take that back this is not the final form this is this is the final form of us being comfortable and knowing what we're doing but this set is far from the final form no the final set will be whenever we have an apartment and it'll be dope it'll be a dope setup it'll be dope um we can finally hang up the um, the one that changes colors. Neon sign that changes colors. It's just been out there <laughs> <laughs> this whole time. <laughs> yeah. Um, because I'm too scared to put holes in my wall. Fair enough. Um, we've gone from sitting over there to sitting over here. These chairs are a nice setup. We will not have these chairs in my apartment because these are technically my mom's chairs. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, we'll find our own chairs though. Yeah. We'll find I'm not worried about that. We could sit on a couch, just oh, yeah. on opposite ends of the couch. Well, that would be nice. Nice. That would be really nice. I can sit with my legs under me like I normally do. Like yeah, that would cocoon. be way better than this. This isn't bad, but this is just better than what we've worked with before. Um, and we've gone from holding the mics to the mic stands, which I think was a brilliant purchase on my behalf. One day, that's more recent than ever. Yeah, one day after filming the podcast, I was just like, you know what? I think I want some mic stands. Lone Lobos kind of. Yeah, and too. then I was watching Sholo Mario Duenas and Jacob Scott Thomas Bertrand's podcast, and they have mic arms and i yep. was like i think that might be beneficial to us in my head in, in the way i convinced myself to buy them i was like i think chris gets really sick of holding the microphone i do <laughs> so i was like i'll buy them we'll see if we like them or not every time this drops it makes me physically ill and i don't, I don't know, why. know why it is i think it's i think it's because it's just like there's too much bar out this way i don't want to put it this high it might be why don't you move it closer the bottom part one? no move this. it shift it closer to you okay. and then slide it back like, like how? Undo the the small knob, okay, and then shove your microphone that way, like this. Uh huh. And then tighten the knob. Ooh, we're cooking with. We're, what are they? Today? We're cooking with gas now. Co- cooking with gasoline. Yeah, baby. that's way better. It's a little high up, but I think it's not cutting my face off, which is the it's most not, important it's thing. It's not. It's fine. Um. Yeah, that's way better. I don't have to keep adjusting it. Uh. All right. So we hit a thousand. Shout just just the beginning. Hopefully. Obviously, it's we. It's crazy to think where we could be if we had been consistent this whole time, but we'll not. We will not think about that for too long because it might be a depressing <laughs> spiral of thoughts. Yeah, I don't want to think about that. Um, if we had devoted more time to this, yeah, it's again. Easy to, I'm sorry. Easy to play a what if game, but it is what it is. We it appreciate really, those who have stuck around since the beginning because we know it's been a wildly inconsistent roller coaster. It really, really just needed me to not be in school because. You do so much for your own YouTube, and now you have a lot of other stuff that you do. There's no way that you would be able to do all the things that you're currently doing, plus what you used to have to do for this podcast. This is true. He used to be the editor. He would make the thumbnails, and he would make the clips, because I was in school and depressed and just probably at the time getting through my cat's death (laughs) and just a bunch of things piling on top of each other that just weren't it. And when you're in school and depressed, you're just not motivated at all. Wow, you're a good boyfriend. Thank you. Was I in a dark hole for a minute? Very long time. Wow, that's crazy. Is it better now? It is. It's so much better now. I'm skin's okay. Out of my surgery, life is good and Mm -hmm. everyone's happy. And now I, I don't do YouTube videos every day, unlike somebody here. And so it gives you something to do. If you look, you you in the audience cannot see it, but Chris can. My sticky notes on my computer are all stuff for the podcast, except for the one on the right. That's from Etsy Shop. Mm. But like editing the podcast, making the podcast thumbnails, making clips, it gives me something to do during the day that makes me feel productive because I'm not a 
you do like three TikTok videos a day, give or take, and then you do a long form video and then you're doing live streams and I'm just here. <laughs> so yeah, I don't really want to talk about myself today. Doing so. the podcast gives me something to do. Um, it's oh, been, you go, go, go. It's, <laughs> it's been a fun return to form. I don't want to do this thing. Oh, thank you. Thank you. We, we are appreciative of you and we have other things to talk about now. Yeah, as I say, you just said you don't want to talk about yourself, but the next part of this podcast episode is asking questions. So that's different than me talking about what I do. Yeah, um, you you're know? very humble boy. Okay, so for our one K episode, we thought it would be cute to do a little Q and A thing. Isn't that what our first episode was? How we met was the first episode, which right? I think that is a question in C it episode one for the. I don't. We're not telling the story again. No. Only, so yeah, C yeah. episode one. We did, we've answered questions here and there for certain things, but just to celebrate 1K, we put on our Instagram story, which follow us on Instagram. What is it? At the unusual couple? It's at something. <laughs> it's at linked the down unusual below. Couple. It's linked down below along with all of our other social medias. I'm going to talk because it got quiet. At the unusual couple yeah. podcast. There it is. Um, we posted on our Instagram stories and we, Chris posted on his community tab on YouTube. Um, to ask us questions. We've collected and some questions. We're going to answer them. That's what we are going to do. A little Q&A. A little Because I feel like it's a nice laid back thing to do. And we, I do a Q&A a lot. You do Q&As a lot. We do them in our streams a lot. But this is different. I have a QA and a on my YouTube. It was like my first YouTube video. And going back to watch it, it's like, oh, it hurts. You're talking about like my voice years is, and years ago? Yeah. Or, yeah. My voice is so high pitched. It's like, hi guys. Welcome back to... Uh, this is my first YouTube video. Must have been on helium or something. No, I was just like a baby. <laughs> I was like three or three years ago, and I didn't know how to talk in front oh, of. Oh, I thought you were talking about way back in the day, middle school. No, I did do a twenty-five you questions. Did. You did. That's what I was referring to. And I think arguably my you're, voice is deeper there it than it probably is. is. I don't know why you're talking so high. I was scared. I didn't know what was going on. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> it was my first time here. I run out of oxygen sometimes when I film. Not now, but like I know you when do. I, I've seen it. <laughs> when I when I was first filming, I was so nervous that I did ha run out of oxygen. So okay. even if you go back to the early episodes of the podcast, we don't really sound the same. No, I don't really like to even look at those anymore. But no, it's bad. You guys, it's they're bad. out there if you want to watch. You them. can watch them if you want to, but I don't like who more, I am. <laughs> more power to you. Yeah. Um. Okay, I'll start with the questions. Right? Please. Do you want to go back and forth asking them? Yeah. Okay, I'll ask the first are we, one. Are we both answering, though? Yeah, of course. So, okay, this first question is, what attraction would you add to the Disney parks if you could add one? If you need to think, I have an answer. Answer. Immediately, a Tangled ride. A Tangled dark ride, preferably replacing It's a Small World. No offense to anybody who likes that attraction. It's just maybe the worst song that's ever been produced in the history of songs. I know your mom watches the podcast. If your mom's watching this episode, I'm sorry, Miss Bowie. I know you like It's a Small World. Um, but yeah, I would replace It's a Small World and I would put a Tangled Dark Ride in it with the boats and the lights and the story of the movie. Anything would there tangled. be a drop? Yeah. During the part where the water... Yeah. Yeah. That's what I was thinking too. Yeah. Um, so, sort of in the same vein as Frozen Ever After. Yeah. Yeah. But, but better. better, yeah, <laughs> with real animatronics and not the weird ones where oh, they project yeah. Yeah. a screen onto the face and it's just bad. Yeah, I know. Bad, 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 bad. That's a good call, and I like that. Thank you. Because there's already a tower in Fantasyland, and I think that's inevitable. And a gorgeous bathroom, and it's just a bathroom. Don't they it's have really a upset. tangled ride already in Japan in somewhere? Yeah. yeah, I think it's either Tokyo. Well, what or are we doing then? I want to go. You know what are we doing? Um. Go. What I was talk, more so talking about the Magic Kingdom. What are they doing not having it there? Oh. Uh, by the way, I have this thing on my finger. If you see me playing with it, it's just irritating me. Don't play with it. It's just annoying. Um, so I would say I want to see a, few, a, mul a multitude of things added. Okay, go for it. But I'll say one, one area of the park that's lacking to me is in Hollywood Studios. And it is in Galaxy's Edge. Okay. And that is representation of the rest of the Star Wars world. You want it to operate like uh, Marvel does Avengers at, at Avengers We Campus. have Rise of the Resistance, which I've ridden a lot. I love it, but I mm. don't think it has the same pizzazz it once did. It would be better if it was Darth Vader. Over Kylo Ren, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. If they, yeah. If Darth so, Vader could just walk around the parks. <laughs> that would be awesome. Then you got Smuggler's Run, and that's it. Yeah. So you got like a game ride. You've got 
Rise of the Resistance, I want a full-on, and I don't know how this would be possible, I want a ride uh-huh. that explores the Skywalker saga. Like, not a slow, dark ride, but, like, it takes you through Star Wars, but it's still a thrilling ride. Yeah, somewhere. I definitely think that Something Galaxy's Edge lines. could expand yeah. if they just let it exist in multiple different timelines of the Star Wars universe. Yeah. Some sort of Star Wars attraction that pays respect to every era of Star Wars. Yeah, for sure. On top of that, this was was this just something or an attraction? Uh, an attraction. Okay. On top of that, I want to see an Indiana Jones ride in Hollywood. In Hollywood Studios, it's over just the show. They're not going to do that ever because Indiana Jones is it's sad. But there's the one in Disneyland. But I want that ride in Orlando. Yeah, I'd be down for that. I like that ride a yeah. lot. And then you've got that ride, the Pirates of the Caribbean ride. It's in, I think, Shanghai or something that has like the craziest, like you're un- you're in a dark room and there's screens on the wall. That wasn't a burp, by the way. That's me swallowing. I know. I know. You think that's a burp. And uh, so it's like you're going under to Davy Jones, like under oh. the Flying Dutchman. And there's like a drop, crazy animatronics. It looks so cool. Interesting. It's a big step up from the Pirates ride. Interesting. I like the yeah. Pirates ride though yeah. a lot. So those are a few... And we don't have a Lion King ride in Animal Kingdom. Why is that? Oh, I never noticed that. Yeah. Also, this is a good point. I'm not the one who thought of this. I forgot who. Marvel has their whole con- contractual thing with Universal S- and Studios where they can't have certain characters. <laughs> you just use drugs on the I air. I can't not smell she a Sharpie if I open it. just drugs on the air. I can't not smell a Sharpie if it's open. Um, someone made a really good point. Uh, I'm not going to give the Persian credit, but Ant-Man getting a ride maybe replacing dinosaur ant-man uh someone i did not think of this idea someone you and i know did i don't know if we're on the best terms to say this on the air so i'm not gonna say who but they said that um whisper it (laughs) they can't see my face right now I have no idea what oh you just God. said. Oh, I, we do, I, I got you. Okay. I got you. I got you. I was about you. to go on a second. spiel about it. It <laughs> took me a second. <laughs> okay. So this person said that and I was like, that would be dope. But then this is just another idea I had. Did they say that to your face? Yeah. Like, okay. this, they said it to us uh, multiple times. Us? Like yeah. way back when? Yeah. Oh, wow. I was not listening. Like 2021. Also, they could do so much with Black Panther and Animal Kingdom. Yeah. Black Panther's not a character in Universal Studios, so I think that's fair game. That's why Guardians has the coaster. Ant-Man, Black Panther, Captain Marvel. There's a lot of characters they could do stuff with in uh, Hollywood Studios and Animal Kingdom. Yeah, to, for sure. Because there's no Marvel representation in Animal Kingdom. For sure. There should be. There should be. Yeah, Ant-Man sure. and Black Panther would be two great ones to do that with. For sure. They naturally would fit into their lands. But anyway, uh, what's the next question? I love talking about... I could do... People ask me, like, what hobby? I could do Disney all day. All right, here we go. What fictional world would you live in? Do you want to go first? Do you want me to go first? I want you to go first. <laughs> oh, boy. This is a hard question. Um, who? What fictional boyfriend do I want to see the most? Probably Marvel, I think. Okay. I just like... Just You're just so with boring Mickey. with that answer. No! I want to live in a world that's worse than this one. <laughs> I'm sorry. Can you name me one fictional world that is, is in some way not worse than this one? Majority fictional worlds, I think, are better than this. No matter, okay, my real answer, probably Harry Potter, but guess what? Depending on what time period in Harry Potter I show up to, okay, whatever you're doing with your foot, stop it. It's tickling my ankle. Um, mm-hmm. <laughs> don't. You're going to look so stupid I when you watch care. that back. I don't care. It was don't. tickling my foot. Stop okay. playing with it. Okay. Um, realistically, Harry Potter, mm-hmm. no matter what time period I go to, I'm in the middle of a wizarding war. Okay. So what do you want from me? What am I going to say? Star Wars? I'm going to die instantly. I'm going Star Wars easily. I'm Harry Potter probably. Easily, dude. You, there's no responsibility in the Star Wars Harry world. Harry Potter was probably my first. I could just get a ship and be the Mandalorian if I wanted to explore the galaxy and go drink blue milk. You'd probably die so Go fast, to alien though. bars. You know how many people are probably going to try and shoot you in Star Wars? You got to fight for your right to party, baby. All right. What? <laughs> <laughs> Some singing lyrics from a song. Um, okay. Um, no, I would say definitely Star Wars. Any other answer? Eh. Who would say Middle Earth? I'm not going to Middle Earth. <gasps> Wait. I kind of want to be a hobbit. <laughs> oh, Christ. I want to party with the hobbits. Are you kidding me? I mean, maybe, yeah. Well, here's the thing. If I say Harry Potter, can't I loophole and magically find a bunch of spells that could put me wherever the fuck I want? You could. 
So Harry Potter's the answer. Okay. Gotta be the answer. Yeah. I'm going Star Wars. Use the force. Be Harry a Potter was my first like fictional crush. Get a ship. So fly around. I'm going Star Wars. Hyperspace. Wow. Well, so we won't be together. Oh well. So sad. Yeah. This is the way. All right. Next question somebody asked is hardest thing about starting a podcast consistency kind of already touched on at the beginning of this yeah just being consistent i think of starting one is having a platform like getting people to watch your podcast because it's not hard to sit in front of a camera and we're still trying to get people to watch it and talk who aren't who are followers of us that just don't know about it yeah it's just i think the hardest thing is just getting people to watch and getting people to Getting people to care about you enough to listen to what you're going to say for the an next 40 minutes to an hour. Because I used to not really care that much about podcasts. And then I really like Zane and Heath Unfiltered. And that was like the only podcast I listened to for a while. But now I listen to Brittany Broski's podcast. Uh, depending on the topic, I'll pop into Cody and Noel's podcast. And I watch... Curtis. Yes, I watch Curtis Connors' podcast. And uh, Lone Lobos, I watch their podcast. Yeah. So, Oh, and the escape pod but that's because they're my friends Mm. which is they are my friends now Mm. so i would say with regard to i when i do that i have no clue what i'm talking about so let me just be honest and say what the hell was the question hardest thing about starting a podcast i was trying to like bullshit i just didn't remember hardest thing about starting a podcast is besides consistency uh the tech the tech technological side of it like yeah. the up actual upload process you have youtube but then You're anchor me. makes it easy it's now called spotify for podcasters but originally it's trying to get that to you know send it out to apple Podcasts and all the other places and i honestly don't think i could do that again so this is the last podcast i'll probably do because i don't remember and it was like strenuous but it really wasn't and i just don't want to have to think about doing that again but it's all it's all good now so i hope it never has any issues I have no idea what you just said. I'm going to be honest with you. There was like a thing where you had to do multiple. What? Jesus. <laughs> Our podcast is not just on Spotify and YouTube. You had to get like this link for each but, different platform so that the one that you upload it to, it's going to send it to those. Anchor and puts it, it everywhere now though? Yes. Okay. That's it was what just, I just really di- Getting Apple is the difficult part and I don't remember the steps, but that was like, that was difficult. Okay. Oh, yeah, I just didn't pay attention for any of it's that. It's okay. So. Like, it, I, not just now, but like IRL when you were when you were no, uploading I it, I just never... I figured as much. Sorry. It's okay. What do you want from me? Do you want to read the next yes. one? Favorite part of being a content creator. The way you just did that, you looked like an old man. This is you. Ready? Watch. <laughs> Christ. You did the equivalent of like our parents when they're trying to read something and uh-huh. they're like... Favorite part of being a content creator. My favorite part of being a content creator is a it's a it's a couple of things. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> I would say one of them is definitely the freedom to do whatever I want. Like the the gratification of putting in all the hard work in a video, the the note prep, the uh, filming, the editing, and then just being happy with a polished product that you can share with other people. That's very gratifying. Um, but I would also just say recently. When people say that I, like, put a smile on their face Aww. or make their day. How sweet. Like, because I remember when I was in high school, I would watch movie YouTubers and I would be like, I can't believe I haven't uploaded a new video yet. Yeah. Like, I'd be like, waiting. I'd be Connor. like, come on. And then, like, Flip Pick would upload. I'd be like, oh, I'm so excited for the next 20 minutes. And to even think that someone out there feels that way about me is pretty mind-blowing. And I still don't think I can fully appreciate that in the moment. So um, but people have said that I do that for them and that's, uh, that, that makes it worth it. That is so sweet. Yeah, I do. I really do believe that. Like that's crazy to even fathom. That's so sweet. Yeah. So cute. My favorite thing. Am I even a content creator? <laughs> you said it, not me. <laughs> I'm joking. I have always been. This a is content creation. So I've always been are. a super creative person. My major in college was really creative. I've always just been like making art since I was uh, since I was a wee lad, and it's just fun to create things that involve like the air, like the fandoms and areas that I'm super interested in. And it's really fun to create these things and to be able to share it with people that 
can appreciate it. Like, because I can make stuff all I want. I could paint stuff related to fandoms all I want. But if I go show it to my mom, she's not going to have the same appreciation for it as the people online when I share my paintings. Like, cause she's going to be like, okay, well, what is that? Yeah. You know, she's not going to yeah. get it. So it's it's really fun to have a space where no matter what I'm creating, whether it's like a painting or when I do a YouTube video, I put my whole Cam Dusty into it. Like there's <laughs> lots of bits and pieces that go into my YouTube videos and you have to admit that. I know you don't watch any of them, but... No, I've seen them. I know what you mean. I put a lot into them. You do. And so those are always super fun to create as well, which is why they're far and few between. Um, but getting better at it. Um, so yeah, probably just like having a space to create something and have people that appreciate it. I think I actually agree and will add to my point in the f sense that not everyone I know in my personal life is as big into movies as me. So finding a place where I, where it's just people who are pretty much obsessed with movies and shows is nice, especially last year with Stranger Things. Yeah. I, d I mean, I talked about it ad nauseum. Yeah. So I know having YouTube and TikTok was like a place for me. Like I posted nine Stranger Things TikToks in one day once. <laughs> That's because funny. I just wanted to talk about it. It's also just really fun to like, from a girl perspective, finding other fangirls is like a really fun part of not even just being a content creator, but I guess just being on the internet in yeah. general. Like having someone like Jenna in my life where she gets absolutely everything I'm saying. Mm -hmm. She gets it 100%. And we can both obsess over our fictional boys <laughs> and like they just get it and like, it's it's always so fun like seeing another person that's like obsessed with Bucky like show up on my for you page and it's like I I get it I get you mm -hmm. and it's just f being surrounded by fangirls that just like get it yeah. in the way that you get it is is a, is a really fun thing because I think a lot of times fangirls are frowned upon yeah it's sad which is weird I also think meeting people is a cool part of content creation that as ever well. since I started I've met a lot of cool people whether that's excuse me through the comments or genuine genuinely other people who create content i've collaborated with them we've met a, a a lot of content creators actually in the past how I, many years have we been doing this three <clears> years now i mean if i count anyone i've ever collaborated with on youtube uh you know on my channel or their channel when you say meet do you mean in person or in general i'm saying like i'm meet them it could be over a video call it could also be in person I'm, when I say meet, I'm talking about like for meet, the entire year, meet in person. We've met we so have. many internet people in person, which is crazy. We have in person, but also I've met a lot of people online. collaboratively online through. I never see them in person. I have my my best friends in the world are my internet friends. Jenna, I haven't met, but I feel like I see her. I feel like she's literally in my room with me every day because I just talk to her so much. I have Clint Stinks, which I've met some of them. I've met Emma. I've met Sophia, and I've met Sam. See the way you say it's so weird to me. What? Like you have, you know them very well. You just haven't seen them in person. I know. Saying you haven't met them would be like you've only communicated over text. You've never hopped on a call. I haven't met them face to face. Yes, that's thank what you. I define. Thank meet. you. Thank you. That's how you define met in, met in person. Yeah, I yeah. have not. I have not met them in person. Okay. Because that's what it means second, to meet for somebody. For a second, there. No. It doesn't. Okay, different, different. That's <laughs> a fight for another time. Okay, that's fine. Um, but like. Those are like Clint Stinks and Jenna. Those are people that I talk to every day. Mm -hmm. And those are people that I don't plan to ever stop talking to genuinely. Like our wedding, not going to be about us. I'm so sorry. Because it's going to be like the first time I'm meeting Jules in person. Mm -hmm. And like the rest of Clint Stinks, it's just not yeah. going to be about us. It's okay. <laughs> we can just not have it. <laughs> no, 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 You can have me after the wedding. Okay. Next we say. I'm next question. Yeah. I read it. Hang on, let me just cross that up. Okay. What is your favorite episode of the podcast? I actually don't know if I have an answer for this. I'm not going to lie. There's a couple that were I'm really gonna, just going to say this. I was drunk off my ass for one of them. You we were. And I was like slurring my words and that was my favorite one. It was the Stranger Things when I was wearing a Hellfire shirt. I was literally... I was drunk. <laughs> How long ago was it? Do you remember? I did, it was last summer. I I mean, you'll you'll be able to. In the thumbnail, I'm wearing a Hellfire shirt. Thumbnail. Hellfire. I was like this one. Yes. What's it called? Stranger Things for spoiler talk. Yeah. Uh, it's episode twenty one. That is it. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. I think that's the one, right? That has to be. Yeah, I would assume if that's your favorite. That's the one. That was a fun one, but no, uh, we had fun with all the hot takes ones too. That was a series. Yeah, the hot takes were super fun. Mm -hmm. I actually, I feel like I had a really fun time 
with last episode not last episode two episodes ago with the again stranger things when we were doing the blind rankings and i got Ooh. your ass bad i was laughing my ass that off. was great it was good yeah i kind of not that i dislike the one the podcast episodes where you were drinking you're just more fun to me when you're not when you are like not drunk or <laughs> tipsy not tipsy i actually think i prefer you drunk to you being tipsy because when you're tipsy you can be mean not mean like horrid but like mean like uh, Thank like you a for, toddler okay like you're mean like a toddler like when i'm babysitting now people are like chris billy from film stock He's, problematic he's a beater <laughs> no that's not what i'm saying i'm saying it's like dealing with like a like a younger mean wouldn't be the word to use then it, irritating would be the word to use okay then that's what you are yeah <laughs> all you are is mean and a liar and pathetic <laughs> and alone in life yeah so the episodes where you were drinking weren't necessarily my favorite but they weren't bad but i don't know if i could pick a favorite episode i also don't have the memory to pick a favorite episode this is true so you, you probably know the earlier episodes better than i do because you were clipping them i wasn't so i don't i just sat there and talked uh because i how we met the first one was fun yeah but we just named all the good ones i think don't i you? think so all right you might have trouble answering this next question that line you should see my Shut face up. i hate when you do that it actually <laughs> irritates me okay. so bad you do it when i mark lines on my calendar once I don't care. It's triggered me ever since and it's made me literally want to rip my calendar off the wall. When I accidentally make a line too thick, Crystal pointed out thinking like, oh, huh, you, mm, that line's too big. And that bugs my OCD so bad and it makes me like, I'm look at my foot. I'm flexed right now. Like I'm livid. Don't ever do it again. Thank you. You still have a flat foot to me. Your foot wasn't curled in the ball or anything. Flexed. That's what flexed oh, is. Interesting. Ew. Top five favorite TV shows. Can you even answer this? Stranger Things is number one. You don't watch TV. Give me this. Yes, it is Excuse me? Give me the thingy. Excuse me? You do watch TV. I was making a joke. <laughs> and you don't think I was playing along with that, dummy? Not when you weren't giving me my book back when I was mm -hmm. asking for it. Sorry I critiqued your Sharpie line on a notepad that's on a piece of paper that's going to get thrown away after we Just film. don't critique me ever. Okay. How's that work? That's fine. So Stranger Things is number one. Come at me all you want, though, because I can take it. All right. Stranger Things is number one. <laughs> you actually literally can't. <laughs> okay. Can I pause the conversation and tell a story? I want. I want you to. I want you to. Air it out. Air it out, baby. Once upon a time, we were at a convention in February called the Atlanta Comic Con. And we I was meeting the Hobbits. If you look behind Chris's head, you can see the Funko Pops signed by all four Hobbits. It was a very beautiful and lovely and great experience. First time ever Chris was going to be filming somebody that I was meeting at a con was Dominic Monaghan. And I asked him to film it. It wasn't the best film job. He kind of didn't get his face in it for a lot of it because he was trying to get both of us. So afterwards... I was like, hey, next like next time you film, just try and film the celebrity. Like, I don't need to be in it. I was upset because Dominic Monaghan's face was like not in literally half the video. And I was in the video and I was like, no one cares what I look like. That's not what we're here for. We're here to look at Dominic Monaghan. And I was upset. So then I was trying to tell Chris how to film the video. And he got very angry. You cannot take critiques and you know it. So don't sit here and be like, you can come at me. You can critique me. I can handle it because you cannot. Okay. You're you do right. not like criticism. Yep. When it comes from me. Normally, I would um, rebuttal here, but to win, you're right. I cannot take crit critiques. <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> I what are you going to rebuttal? Can that? I add some more context to that? What? The fact that I was super upset that you did a whack-ass film job? Can I add context to that? Go ahead. I have never recorded a celebrity before and that's fine and i was nervous and that's because fine it's very uncomfortable to record someone i don't want to come off as like an annoying fanboy i don't know if that's literally fine certain celebrities are gonna be you know mad at that so that had me on edge uh -huh. i did the best i could then never said you didn't afterwards though you should have seen your face when you looked at it it wasn't like it's really bad. hey chris you uh i it's unfortunate I was, okay yeah no, because you i do was this, you, viscerally upset you were viscerally upset which is why i reacted the way i did where i was upset with myself for not getting it and i thought i had ruined the whole day for you but see okay you don't need to be doing that so i was i i will not sit here and be like you overreacted to, to my reaction probably a little 
a little. You walked away. But you were just... You did a lap around the con. Because it continued, I couldn't take it anymore. Because I was just trying to tell you how to fix your filming abilities. It's like, Chris, I was just trying to tell you what to do. And I You was, weren't doing it politely. I don't care. That doesn't matter. It does. Oh, do I have to say quiz? Because you met the celebrity. Quiz, did you not? next time, you're going to film the celebrity, no, okay? no. Talking like that, I'm walk off the set. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, the way you did it, it was like you still met him. It's not. It's like you acted like I had I went back in time and, and taken away the autograph and taken away everything. It's like never you still it. met him. And the audio's I there. I was just upset that the video wasn't good, but it's okay because I was going to tell you how to fix it, and you didn't like that I was correcting you. I was. It's less that. It's more I was upset with myself. For ruining it. That's, oh, that's always how it is, though. Whenever you do get a correction from me, your reaction is less than I'm correcting but you. You're more thing. upset that yep. you did something wrong. The thing, the thing is, and then we'll move on because this is long-winded. The thing is, is that when I do critique you, it's not a critique of of the way you're treating me or something. <laughs> it's like that was a fucking line on a piece of notebook paper. Yeah, but we've and been it was jokey. Six and a half years. And then you you're like, special. you need to do this differently. You blah, know, blah, blah. I'm it's special. Like, you need to know that by now. Top five TV shows, go. Okay. Um, I don't even know if I can... Stranger Things, number one. Obvi. Stranger Things. We both have that. Then we have four more each. <sighs> trying to think. What shows do I watch most often? Um, Falcon and Winter Soldier. No, I'm not putting that in my top five. I love it, but it's not my top five. If it was like a longer type of TV show. Okay. I might put Daredevil in my top five. Okay. Um... I kind of want to put Teen Wolf in my top five. Do whatever you want. I rewatch seasons two and three of Teen Wolf a lot. Those are the seasons that Isaac is in. I. What's the name of that show? Big Bang Theory. No, it starts with a B. You watched a few times recently. I think there's British people in it. Bridgerton. <laughs> <laughs> See, there's just so many. Okay, right. Stranger Things, Bridgerton. Game of Thrones, dude. <laughs> Fuck yeah, Game of Thrones. Okay, sorry. I t- see it takes a second Friends, for me to think about all the shows. Mother's. I would put Big Bang Theory in there over Criminal Minds. I would put Big Bang Theory in there as my sitcom. So that's four. Uh, fuck it, we'll put Criminal Minds in there. <laughs> so to over to overview, Stranger Things, Bridgerton, Game of Thrones, Big Bang Theory, Criminal Minds. Okay. <laughs> you go. <laughs> Stranger Things. Right. Um, I'm then going to say, I actually have a list of every show I've ever watched in its entirety, so I'm going to go pull that up, I think. That would help a lot. I don't <laughs> even think I can make that. <laughs> well, I have it, so that makes things easier for me. So TV shows I have watched um, that are completed, and then I have a list of ongoing shows that I've watched. Worst TV shows ever? The Summer I Turned Pretty. Really? Dude, it's so bad. But I'll watch really? it. I will watch it till it's completion. Ooh. Okay, so I'm gonna say Stranger Things, obviously. Um can I combine a show into one? What is it? It's Better Call Saul and Breaking Bad. It's a prequel in a season. Sure. Yeah. Better Call Saul and Breaking Bad, that whole universe is in my top five. <laughs> You're such a sick person. I hate that. Um <laughs> Those are definitely there. I I would oh, possibly throw ted lasso in the mix possibly oh yeah um ted lasso so good i'm gonna have to say honorable mention for me ted lasso okay this is really harder than i thought it would be. i love jamie Tart. it's harder than it would be we're gonna go jamie. this is right now this is as of right now right yeah right now stranger things i'm going breaking bad and better call saul as one because it is technically one big show i'm going the bear Okay, wow. I'm going... Damn, this is tough. I'm going... <laughs> Bridgerton? No. Uh-uh. I'm going... Um. Sorry, this is like me kind of being a fool right now. Okay. I've said my three... That's what uh, a podcast is. 13 Reasons Why? No, I'm kidding. <gasps> oh, my God. Um, Ted, I'll mention. go Ted Lasso, and then for like the sitcom stuff... Probably Seinfeld. Seinfeld, it's always sunny in Philadelphia right now. I'm serious. I think I've it's been getting my mind, so I I'm think going with I've that one. been getting it's always sunny in Philadelphia so ads funny. on YouTube. They're so, Danny DeVito, so funny. and you're talking to somebody and he's like, You're telling me we've had a toilet this whole time? <laughs> is that is that it's always sunny? Um I believe, yeah. So I haven't seen it all. That was my next point is like I'm so young in the show, but it's so funny that it doesn't even matter. 
That's good. So those are like right now my favorite shows. I do really like Friends. Honorable mention to Friends. Honorable mention to every show I've seen. I could read the whole <sighs> list. Honorable mention to every show I've seen. Pretty Little Liars, Outer Teen Banks. Wolf. Outer Banks, you. The Vampire Diaries. Cobra Kai. Cobra Kai is in my top five. Cobra Kai is in my top five. You forgot Cobra Kai. <laughs> Oh my god, you forgot Bridgerton. <laughs> if I hadn't mentioned it, you would have never thought of it. And you That's know not it. true. It would have taken me a second, but I would have gotten there eventually. What a sick joke. I would have gotten there eventually. Um, I don't make. I haven't made a single I was YouTube at the video. Completed list. I before, haven't. Ma- I haven't made a single YouTube video about Bridgerton. Unlike you, who have made many of Cobra Kai. Cobra Kai is. Could there. I make a YouTube video about? See, Bridgerton? this is why. I could. Like, like I hate top fives. They're too difficult. I know. I can't do it. Anyway, every show. Listen, here's the thing. If I've watched a show. And I've gotten past season one. Guess what? It's one of my favorite shows. <laughs> that means I liked it enough Fair. to keep going. And that's that. End of story. Like Vampire Diaries, so good. All of it's so good. Next. Okay. Wait, did I read that one or did you? Did you? I don't know. Yeah, I think you read it <laughs> like an hour ago. <laughs> um, If you were in charge of Marvel, what would you change? I have my answer immediately. Please answer them. Way back when. We would have gotten a movie centered around none other than the Winter Soldier, and it would have been a spy, horror, thriller, action movie. Mm. I'm talking John Wick style Winter Soldier movie. Okay. So it would not have been Captain America, the Winter Soldier. It would have been the Winter Soldier. Mm -hmm. And it would have been him kicking ass and taking names. And it would have been great. And we would okay. have had a really good emotional aspect to it of him remembering himself. Mm-hmm. And at the end of the movie, he remembers himself enough to go and find Steve. Okay. Um, I would just utilize Bucky more. I would probably fundamentally change the direction we're headed with the multiverse. I would probably scratch that entirely. Yeah. I would probably, to be, to be honest, I would probably end with Endgame and then just start a new universe with the X-Men and the Fantastic Four. Yeah. And Spider-Man could stay around. But I think continuing Thor's story, continuing Strange, continuing pretty much anyone, really anybody who was in Endgame, what have they done post-Endgame that's been game-changing? Nothing. Unless I'm forgetting something. I know that would exclude the Falcon and the that would take that would include the Falcon and the Winter Soldier for you. Sad face. But in reality, we still could have introduced Miss Marvel. We still could have had Moon Knight, which was aggressively average to bad. But I'm just saying, like, just introduce new characters. Wait, Chris, we actually can't say that about Moon Knight because we don't understand um, mm-hmm. Egyptian history. You're right. That's what I would do. I would basically have Endgame be the ending and then introduce a, a new MCU. Like, M- not MCU 2, but, like, something different. Yeah, I think the first thing after Endgame should have been something significant enough to keep people interested, but the project still could have been relatively small. So like a Fantastic Honestly, Four of sorts. Yeah, X Men or Fantastic Four should have been right after that, and yeah. take a big break from all the other things. But what's the first movie after it? Far, Far from, from Home. Home. Which the is the trailer for Far From Home dropped while Endgame was in theaters, and they had to edit out Tony being dead. No, and they there was literally Tom Holland like, "Hey guys, if you haven't watched Avengers Endgame, be you're sure right. to click away from this trailer." Oh my God, you're right. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I remember and that. And literally the first thing is, every day I think about... <laughs> every day I think about mural. Tony's death. <laughs> it's a mural of him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I'll read the next one. You got it. The next one says, if you could watch a movie again for the first time, what would it be? Oh, boy. With no memory of it? Like, we erase yeah. it fully? I'm going to have to say one with a plot twist. Oh, like I would, I saw, saw probably. Yeah, <laughs> we won't say anything else, but um, I wish we could both watch that together for the first time with no knowledge. Yeah, of it because we watched it separately. Of course, my answer would be like Star Wars on the big screen, but um, I'm trying to think. I probably wouldn't pick like Pitch Perfect or anything like that because no. part of the fun of me watching Pitch Perfect every is knowing like who. all the time now is because I can just quote it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, probably wouldn't say Footloose. Maybe Goodwill Hunting. That was a really, really fun first watch for me. I did that by myself. Actually. One day I was just like, Chris, I'm going to watch this movie. <laughs> yeah, um, I mean, maybe like a lot of Christopher Nolan movies, like Inception would be cool for the first time. I'd like to watch Scream without you being in my head about who the killer is. Oh, yeah. Like a little twat. Uh-huh. Raiders would be amazing for the first time again. I remember the first yeah. time I watched it still. Um, Tasm 2. <laughs> Shit. 
just to feel oh, obviously something. infinity war and endgame would be amazing again yeah obvious my sister obviously. just watched endgame for the first time and her reaction Welcome was to the pretty party funny. pal her reaction was pretty funny yeah all right i'll read the next one as well if that's okay yeah it starts with a who 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 are your favorite youtubers do you want me to go first Cam Silas is my favorite YouTuber. That's <laughs> such bullshit. <laughs> um, I love the following. Number one. I'm going to say like, I'm going to call you out if it's bullshit. Number one favorite YouTuber of all time ever. Pretty much it. Yes. Eric Strickler. Yes. I'm going to clip this and put it on TikTok and tag, not egg tag him. I don't think he even really uses TikTok all that much, but I'm going to tag him in it. Put it on Twitter. I'll put it in, the dis- I'll put it in his Discord. You can put it on Twitter like as a clip. I'll put it in his Discord. Yeah. Eric, if you're watching this, I love you. <laughs> um, number two, Danny Gonzalez. This is in no particular order. Eric's at the top. But the rest of them are in no particular order. Danny Gonzalez, Curtis Connor, Cody Ko, H.T. Hayes. Yeah. That's about, that's about, that's a good top five. Mm-hmm. You go. Wow. I would say... Pretty much it. Eric's up there. I mean, I'll, I'll never forget the first time. It was like 2020, and you showed me one of his tracks. It was the Twilight ones. It was That's at, the first time I showed at my, you yeah, one of at my tracks? old apartment. It was like, tw- for me, you had got into him. I had heard it, but it was like the video, and it was the Twilight. Like I made you the watch. the Twilight video. Right. It was, no, the first one was either Harry Potter or Twilight. It was both, maybe. We had them both on. It was on that TV at the old apartment. I think I just always watched his YouTube videos around you, but yeah. I've been into him since... Curtis Connor did a YouTube video with yeah, him. You, so let you me have, you, you have. talk. Let me look yeah. up how long ago that was. So obviously that is that's more than just YouTube though. With the Patreon and everything is big. So I don't yeah. even view him as like a YouTuber, honestly. Um, I love Cody Ko, of course. I don't watch as much YouTube as I used to. Um, but I'll be real. I will say the YouTubers that got me into being a U- YouTube creator, uh, the Schmoes, which is Christian Harloff and Mark Ellis, the Flick Pick. Chris Stuckman and Jeremy Johns were the ones I watched religiously, religiously in the years 2014, 15, 16. I would stay up and watch the Schmoes show like live on Wednesday nights at nine, I think it was. Chris Stuckman, obviously amazing. And the flick pick, I laugh my ass off watching the videos. Those guys are the ones I watched a lot of. Um, so those are probably my, some of my favorites of all time. I've been a fan of pretty much it since August 2nd, 2019. That's when his collab with Curtis Connor came out, where wow. they watched that movie with the kid with the big nose. Yeah. Hashtag Roxy. Yes. And then they did, they advertised on so Curtis' So only a few channel. months later in January is when I watched the Twilight video with you. So it's like not crazy. That's not oh, a crazy Oh, you said time. 2020. I thought you were saying 2022 for some reason. Nope. I was like, nope. that's such... Hell no. I know. I was like, that what? feels wrong. And then what made me go to their channel is they did After yeah. on pretty much its channel, which involves Harry Styles. And I was yep. like, you know I have to watch that. And I was watching it and I was like, these dudes are so fucking funny. Mm. What? And then I just started watching all their YouTube videos just on loop, like forever. Yeah. And no- most notably, their 13 Reasons Why YouTube video. <laughs> and then I realized that I could watch the first two episodes of 13 Reasons Why with them for free. And that's how they got me. That's how they that's how they roped me into their little Patreon. And I've been giving them f- fifteen a month for the past four years. That's not that crazy, I don't think. Granted, for how much I use them, no, not at all. No. They're like my number one source yeah. of entertainment. Yeah. So those are my favorite YouTubers. That I'm, I don't think I'm forgetting any. Um, I don't think you are either. I'm not naming any of my buddies or people I've met personally, really, because I don't want to. Oh, anyway. honorable mention to the YouTuber Film Stocked. Love him. Thank you. The next question is, what college did we both go to? Georgia. Georgia Tech. The better one. The Institute of... Pretentiousness. Don't be like that. I was going to say more mean things, but I stopped. Losing football games. We're just better. We're built. We're in the city. We're okay. just a better campus. Yeah, for sure. Just all around better. Mm. <laughs> Hicks don't go to our school. Oh, so. man. Are you crying? You look like you're crying. It, it just got me good, you know? I I <laughs> derive too much satisfaction from the annual whooping of Georgia Tech. It gives me life. Move your foot out of my area. It gives me life. One I day, love it. One day that's I not going to be the case. Yeah. You love it a lot for somebody that... <laughs> If it wasn't for the past six years, it wasn't that confident of a beatdown. 
Georgia has not gone into your stadium this century and lost a football game. Okay, but it's not always played at our stadium, is it? Every other year. Yeah. I think you've won three in Athens. Four max this century. Four well, games against us total. We'll win again at some point. One day. But today is not that day. For those of you that don't know, our schools are rivals. Yeah. Like, bad. Like, the the... As far as I'm concerned, really the only two colleges in the state of Georgia. <laughs> oh. <laughs> sorry Georgia to Georgia Southern dig. Oh, sorry to my yeah. father. Oops. He They're didn't always hear it. contending for the he national title. <laughs> he doesn't watch the podcast and my dad will never hear that oh. I said that. Um, I forget that Georgia Southern's in Georgia, though. It's just so down south. Yeah. It's like not even funny. It's almost like it'd be normal to not cheer for them if you went to their school, right? No. Okay. <laughs> um but yeah i went to the better school in georgia and he went to the not better school in georgia okay he went to the school for football i went to the school for smart people right sure yeah <laughs> well i could have just ended your whole career but i'm not going to what i'm not what's the next question what do you well, don't say it no i don't want to be mean what you can talk about how i didn't get in the first time around no go what ahead are you about Nothing. i want to know no Talking Sorry. about how I failed linear algebra. What are you going to talk about? All right. What do you like? No, I, I want to know what you're going to talk about. Say it. <laughs> it's hard to get into Georgia. From now our, it from is. From our school. It was now hard it back then. Maybe in 1980. I mean, you got into Georgia, right? All right. What do you like to do besides watching movies All right. and football? <laughs> <laughs> me hand you the paper was my sign to tell you to not continue okay. your sem- your statement <laughs> however because you did say it i'm gonna say this okay i had a literal <laughs> learning disability for my entire life and i was not medicated for it until senior okay. year of high school okay. once i got medication for it i had straight a's mm-hmm. both semesters not a problem in the world because i'm smart and you know i'm <sighs> smart yeah you are you're a smart person I'm also not ridiculously heavily involved. I don't think my grades were all that different from a lot of the other white bitches that went to Georgia. Okay? Christ. And I don't care. They don't listen to this shit. They don't listen to this. You're canceled. All the people that lived in Brightwater, they don't listen to this. No need to drop a neighborhood name like that. It's fine. In our local area. No one's going to look it up. It's fine. Yeah, they are. Eh, whatever. Enough. Let's move on. I don't think that I had much different grades to them. I probably just was involved because I was also a dancer I know. for 15 years. Ergo, I didn't have any time for extracurricular activities besides dance. I know. No, I just had to say that because you okay. had to be like, sit down and get in. <laughs> you were just shitting on it. Because that's what I do. You didn't get into Georgia <laughs> Tech. If you applied, you would apply. not have gotten in. No desire to go there. It doesn't matter. That's not the point that I'm making. Okay. Can we move on now? We can. <laughs> All right. I can't wait to win a third. <laughs> I was going to add more fuel to the fire. I'm not going to. What do you like to do besides watching movies and football? Irritate Cam? <laughs> yeah. Well, he doesn't really do anything else. Uh-huh. If I'm going to be honest with you, that's kind of really just all he does. Mm-hmm. So I don't think you really have the, an answer. What is going on right now? That's all you do is literally just watch movies and watch football That's not and true. then go to bed and eat, right? <laughs> what? That's all you do. What is happening right now? That's all you do. You really think that's all I do? I know that's all you do. You didn't include TV in there. <laughs> that's not what you do. I edit videos for a living? No. Um, the other things I do, I uh, I like to run and walk. I've fallen out of that lately, but I do run and walk. Um, you like to be a hell hacker? Yeah. You like to irritate me to no end. I try to lift weights as much as I can, but I've fallen out of that recently. i got to get back into it. I like to listen to music a lot more lately this year. While I edit, I listen to Oppenheimer's score, and I've listened to Taylor Swift a lot more this year. Um, I enjoy hanging out with my friends and shooting the shit. And you? <laughs> um, <laughs> I like I like watching TV, like TV shows. Um, I paint, obviously. That's like the number one thing that I do. Um, I too go for walks, but I'm an evening walker. You're a morning walker, which is extremely inconvenient for us. Yeah. Um, you can do both, you know. I don't want to get sweaty first thing in the morning. Sorry. Right. Not what I want to do. Okay. Um, I like 
taking photos. I like photography a lot. I don't really go out and do that all that much, but when I can, I do. But I, think I like going to Disney. Yeah, that is definitely a hobby that we enjoy. But I think <laughs> probably painting is probably what I do mostly. I this haven't painted true. in a minute because we just got back from the beach and stuff. But I need to get into that. We're opening my Etsy shop on Saturday. I think it'll be open by the time this episode comes out. Yeah, it just depends which one we drop first. Probably that one. We, we filmed just two recorded. recently for those wondering what we're talking about. Funniest podcast moment. Probably when you stop touching me with your na- toenails. It's no. not intentional. You're man spreading. Funniest uh, you podcast saying that moment. pisses me the fuck off. What? And we're keeping that in. What man You're spreading? Man spreading. You are man spreading. I'm sitting normally in my fucking chair right now. You're sitting oh like my a god. man. Oh my god. You're sitting like a man. You're pissing me off. Love. Your toe should not be touching my toe from where it was yeah. two seconds ago. I'm not man spreading. Yes, <laughs> you are. And I'm going to sit but with my fucking that's legs not a bad, crossed. It's not a bad thing. Men aren't supposed to. Men, men, it's called man spreading because men have to spread. We're not going to get into the autonomy of the male body. What's but men the next have question? to spread. What's the next question? Since you're so clearly irked by the way I sit but in the seat. I'm not irked. I just don't want your toenail touching my toe. Okay. Funniest podcast moment. In your opinion? Uh, probably when you screwed me over last week. <laughs> or however many weeks Two ago week, that was. Two weeks ago or three weeks ago. Yeah. When this drops. In the Stranger Things blind raking yes. episode. That was a good time. Mm-hmm. 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 When, when you guys got to see live... Two things made me get a kick out of. One, when I won over you and the camera battery did die. That was great in a different episode. And the other one that gives me uh, joy is how they got to see you be all pouty. And then when I got you in your blind ranking, see so you all pouty, and then you get to get the upper hand on me. That was fun. <laughs> and how quickly your moods can change on a pot. That was fun. That was great. <laughs> yeah, that was good. Uh-huh. That was really good. Next. I agree that that was probably the funniest podcast moment. Um, what inspired you to start the podcast? We already answered that today, didn't we? No, that was hardest part about starting okay. a podcast. What, what made us want to start um, a podcast? Do you even remember? Because I don't even know if I do. I think a lot of people had said, are you guys going to do a podcast? Because we had done videos together. And I was like, yeah. And then I, I think I thought of the unusual couple idea. I, I believe I did. I could like be wrong. Like the name of the podcast? or just I, I thought I podcast? thought of the name. You did not think of the name. You, there's no way in hell you thought of the name of this podcast. Yeah, we are an unusual couple. I was like, that would be cool. An unusual couple podcast. There's no way. <laughs> okay i don't All what right. when in wandavision does she say we are an unusual couple i think it's episode three nope. i think i don't give a fuck <laughs> <laughs> because i heard it and that's all that mattered when did she yeah. say it since you know and you're asking a question it's one of the black and white episodes they blend together though mm-hmm. <laughs> make me what okay sick. so i you're think- the bane of my existence and the object of all my designs that's so <laughs> i just gotta start quoting bridgerton i guess yeah. on the air this is so sweet <laughs> oh my god it's hot as fire in here i know you're sweating um <sighs> i think what inspired us to start the podcast was probably people telling us to do it and also we needed a space where we could be in a video together and I could just talk in the way that I yeah. talk without you getting irritated. I mean, yes. going like this. God. We you have used to, to do that when we filmed. You I know? know. It's because for a while it was bad. Like, you don't understand. Like, you don't understand. Sorry, women are just naturally no. more oppressed when they talk. <laughs> oh, you have shit. To, women have to fill the space with um and like because if we leave enough of a gap in our sentence, men will interrupt us. It's literally psychologically proven. It's a fact. You can speak. Don't be like that. <laughs> I was waiting. I didn't want to interrupt you. So what's the next question? The next question is... Well, did ha- we even answer that last one? I gave an answer. What inspired us was we pretty much wanted to do something together weekly and people had suggested it. What inspired us is the fact that we're really funny, actually. And we're... Are we? Yeah. <laughs> I guess we are. I don't know. I think so. I mean, I don't know. I think when we get into our little squabbles, it's hilarious. Yeah. And then uh, it's not fake either. <laughs> I'm not. I'm, I'm being for real. Like it's not fake when we do. Like I'm literally. Oh, like, we are like actually. Like it's not like we're mad at each other severely, but it's not like we're like we're gonna argue about this today. It's like it's oh just yeah, happens. when he made a comment about Georgia Tech earlier, I had to stop myself from throwing the sharpie yeah. at him because he's in a white shirt. Yeah, I actually I had to literally hold myself back. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's they're definitely real, but it's they it's 
they breeze over. You um, know I'm a London boy. I'm a toy with my joy and my coy and the boat. Not. Something about the afternoon. Walks through the park. <laughs> I'm learning. <laughs> <clears throat> Just not the lyrics. Um. Okay, the next question is how do we both meet? Which is a topic we have already breached in a different podcast episode. Our first podcast episode, which you can go and watch. But I will forewarn you. The quality is not the best that wasn't on my old that was before we bought one of these cameras do you remember that when you used my yeah. mom's camera yeah. that you had to focus with your hand i do honestly yeah they're unwatchable but you can go look at it if you want you can see and that out. audio oh boy more power to you long story short though we met in middle school dated in middle school broke up met again junior year of high school started dating have been dating since um our parents have known each other since college my dad and his dad and his mom all went to the same college together so they've known each other for a while so then when we were like i'm gonna go over to chris Bowie's house cameron silas is coming over they're like oh say less came over <laughs> been together ever since and it's great and now we're inseparable and we're joined by the hip and he's my other half and i love him so much i concur you do love him when you love you. i said earlier how jenna's like my best friend right mm -hmm. but you were my original jenna oh Oh, I just have Jenna. I'm though. the original, just like Daniel Sharman. The originals. Very nice. Even though I don't know if he's... I don't want to get into the... He's in the originals. Yeah. It was, good, it was a good joke. Well, like, joke. Is, is the original a group of vampires? Is he a original? An yeah, original? He, he is an original? His, he plays Cole Michelson. Mm. Just Cole Michelson is in his body. Like, the yeah. character's name's Caleb or whatever. But Ooh. Cole Michelson takes over him, so everyone just calls him Cole. So technically, he is Michelson while he's on the show. But then he bites the dust. And the last question? The last question is future cons question mark. If you would have asked me this three days ago, I would have told you that a future con is the always and forever con that we went to on last Sunday. And the 20th. Yeah, the 20th of August. And I'm at Daniel Sharman, which was super fun and amazing and fantastic. And I saw a bunch of other, from afar, a bunch of other Vampire Diaries characters, which was really, really cool. Like Joseph Morgan. Um, saw him on a golf cart. That was sick. The girl that plays Rebecca. The uh phoebe tonkin i think is her last name which is the girl that's in h2o so the guy who plays enzo you don't know what any of this is but it's cool to the people that watch the show you said enzo my mind went to pizza jack and hagar oh okay. which then took me to stranger things season very nice Four. future cons you know what we're going to hit him with it so as of right now the tentative plan is to go to two in the same month next year february whoa there's a hair on my face february uh, we've got MegaCon in Orlando, mm -hmm. and the next week in February, Atlanta Comic Con. Both we are planning to attend. Atlanta Comic Con's easy. That's like a no Atlanta trip. is is down the road from us. We don't have to yeah. get a hotel. We don't uh, potentially even have to get passes this year. We might probably get the creator pass, the well, content wow, the media, and I'll be vlogging both, obviously. And then for MegaCon, I want to do some things that I don't want to talk about now, but I have some ideas. And hopefully they come to fruition, and I think they will, and I, I have faith in that. So be super sick. And then I'm sure there's other cons throughout the year of 2024 yeah. that we just don't know about yet. Yes, maybe one a year we can like leave like on a plane to. We can talk like about Phoenix it. Like Phoenix with Alice. That would be fun that to go fun. to again. I had fun there, and my boy Jacob is there, and my you've got people so in Texas. Sophie. So that might be fun to do annually. We'll have I to see who the guest lineup is and all that. If Andrew Garfield or Sebastian Stan make an appearance <laughs> at any convention in these United States of America. Oh. At all. Okay, well, go ahead, and then I got something to say. If they are at any con anywhere, it doesn't matter where it is, I will be going to it. Fair enough. I was going to say, if our schedules line up, we'll go to the next Stranger Things con. That was in yeah. Atlanta. We missed it because it was the same day as Phoenix with Dallas. But if there's a right. Stranger Con and it's in Georgia, typically, if that's if there's any Stranger Things related con, we're going. Especially if it's next year while they're all in Georgia while they're yeah. filming. Yeah. Yes. What if Joe Curie gets the people I, on my? That'd be wild. Don't even tease me. Don't give me hope. Do you know how many people would come to Atlanta for that? People would. My going, fingers mutating. Yeah, I noticed it. People were going to Germany for him. I would. When he went to Germany Con. I would if I had the money. Uh, <laughs> here's the deal. I want to meet the rest of the Cobra Kai cast because I've got I'm collecting those like Infinity Stones. Yeah, we got characters. Meet I've got Daniel, Mary, Crease, uh, Miguel, Johnny, and Stingray. That's five Stingray. Aut autographs. So I want to meet. I'm gonna go character names: Hawk. San Larusso, Hawk, Robbie, and then um, I think that'd be pretty good for me right now. Terry Silver. Mm. I would tell and him that honestly, I like him in, maybe Tori just to round out the main group. I would like I would tell Terry Silver that I like him in One Tree Hill. 
yeah. Which so is another show that I didn't mention. That, is, and then I want to meet Stranger Things. I'm, I, we've only really met one, two, three, if you count Carrie Elwes. Right. That's Mary Larry Klein. We haven't met anybody of actual real We've met none of the main cast. Like, not a main character from the show. It's actually really disheartening. Only characters who've been in one season. It's because none of them are going to cons. Really? Well, we could have met Millie and we could have met Finn if we went to Stranger, but... I don't care enough to meet them. Damn. I'll I want to meet Millie. them eventually, but it's not. Millie. I'm not dying to. Finn They're Wolfhard lower. is not the first kid I'm trying to meet from Stranger Things. The first kid I'm trying to meet from Stranger Things? Gaten. I'd be Did like, you see him on the picket lines? No. I got to show you right now on the he air. Was he precious? Yeah, he was precious. I love Gaten Mater. I was so yeah. bad, you guys. Now rank the other kids and then I'll pull this up real quick. Sadie Sink. Kayla McLaughlin. I think that's how you say his last name. Uh, Noah Schnapp. Okay. Millie Bobby Brown, then Finn, Finn Wolfhard. Okay. Fair. Where would I find this picture? Who would have been? It was like, here he is. Oh my God. <laughs> his smile. Ow! His smile. He's so baby boy. I know. He, he has a tattoo. But in time. Yeah, he's precious. Oh my God, I love him. He's awesome. You guys, that's literally my son. Don't call me son. That's yeah. literally my child. I want to meet them all, though, to answer your question. That's my baby brother. What would you do if you met Sadie Sink? I'd tell her that she's amazing and all too well. 10-minute version. Yeah. So one. that's our future con plans. They're sort of up in the air regarding uh, other ones. But those, the one we are 1 million percent going to is Atlanta. Cons are normally last minute until you get celebrities announced. Because Yeah, they're getting announced the week of. There's no reason for yeah. us to go to a different state to go to a con if there's not a celebrity we want to meet. We'll go to Atlanta. At least one. We'll go to Atlanta if even if there's no celebrity there that we care to meet because that's in our town and that's just easy and able yeah. for us to go. Yeah. Megacon is different because Megacon's huge. It's humongous. So even if there's not a celebrity It's like a six there, and a half to seven hour drive for us, which isn't crazy. Yeah. But then you factor in hotel and if there's stuff there. But even if there's not like a celebrity there. We don't have to fly. There, I'd like for us to go to New York Comic Con at some point. Yeah, that's a big one. We'll see. But... I think that concludes the Q&A portion. Yes. And I think all in all, I'm very happy we brought the podcast back. And I, I sure. do believe this is it's the best run we've had. Yeah. It, it's because I'm I am motivated. And I think we've just grown you as people to, since we started. You don't have to drag me out of bed We've anymore. gotten more comfortable with it. Yeah. Literally. We've come very far, you know. Yeah. We have. And I'm proud of it. Damn it, I am. Yeah. A thousand subscribers is cool, and here's to many more, you know? Eventually, down the line, we have a lot of other things we can introduce, from merch to a Patreon to a lot of things. Mm -hmm. It's just um, got to keep doing it and keep growing this community, and we appreciate you guys. If you watch, if, you watch, if you're an, an Apple Podcast listener, a Spotify listener, leave us a nice rating and all that, and um, comment down below your favorite memories from the podcast that you've watched like the funniest moments yeah let us know how long yeah. you've been here for yes you've please been here that's the first you one, need to let us know that yeah or if this is your first one hi Hello welcome there. in yeah um go watch other episodes they're great yes um we have a lot of fun doing this it's a good space for us to talk it is even though we this is essentially how we talk yeah every day 24 7 to each yep. other yep <laughs> so that sometimes can be one of the hardest parts of having a podcast is rehashing topics that we already talk about between the two of us yeah. many times plus you talk about it on your youtube channel and i talk about it to my friends so it feels like this is like the fourth or fifth time that we've talked about this topic but yeah. to you guys it's the first time we've talked about it mm -hmm. so that's always an interesting thing to maneuver around i concur do. yeah well i think we do we do just fun i think so i think the future's bright especially with you know fall around the corner and Next summer, this thing will be who knows where if we consistently post. Yeah, I gotta get better at posting clips. This is true. I have all I have all the organized now. Yeah, there's I'll, a lot to look forward to. I'll do better. I promise. <laughs> the next time we would do a celebration like this would be what five or ten k. Yeah, probably five. Five would be cool if we hit that. That'd be awesome. So tell your friends to subscribe. Yeah, subscribe if you haven't. Spread the word, if, and if you are watching this, post it on your story. Yeah. I said that in like a couple episodes ago, and I'm maybe we need like, to like two add, We need to record something into this to add into the beginning. Some people don't watch the end. Oh, it's eh, a lot of editing. That's work. fine. We'll just remember to do it next time. Yeah. But if you're watching this, take a picture of it or a screenshot of it wherever you're watching it. Tag us on Instagram. Tag our account. So tag at Filmstock, tagged at Cameron Silas, and tagged tag at the Unusual Couple Podcast, and yeah. we'll repost it yeah. to our stories. Help spread um, the word. 
help spread the word. Mm-hmm. If you have friends that like nerdy stuff, tell them about our podcast and tell them to watch it because we're please we're funny. <laughs> yeah, and eventually we might have guests on. What? Long yeah. down, we have a lot of plans and a lot of aspirations. We just gotta. Our Zoom keep recorder going. only has two mics, though. Yeah. So we'd have to figure out a third microphone situation. Yeah. Third Zoom recorder? No, second Zoom recorder. Yeah, it'd be fun. So, with that being said, thank you guys again. And Nick Hart. Straighten out your finger. Very good. Dope. <laughs> Very good. That's all I got. Yep. Thank you guys for watching this episode. And again, thank you guys for 1,000 subscribers. Y'all are pretty cool. I cannot tell a lie. Um, but other than that, until next time, stay, stay unusual. unusual.